So an interesting thought got brought up to me about this whole Chick-fil-A thing, and it has to do with corporations in general, and I just wanted to share it with you. And that very simple point that was brought up to me by one of my viewers here is that corporations are people. I mean, besides the legal interpretation that came about more recently, corporations are founded by people, run by people, built by people, and people own them. And that is a really good point if you actually take a moment to think about what that means for a corporation. Because you can buy shares in a corporation, right? That's part of the definition. You can own stock in it. You can be a stockholder. Someone who owns a small fragment of a company. Now, taking that a step further, if you become one of the big shareholders, you have power in the company. You can actually control things and influence it. And let's say all the shareholders, all the big ones, feel the same way you do. The company moves in that direction then. Whatever that direction may be, based on the shareholder's will. And for this specific example of Chick-fil-A, what this comes down to is if you want to change it, I originally said boycotting, and that's what I would do. It's a method I can do. However, if someone has a lot more money and wants to really affect change, they could buy themselves in as a shareholder, a big one potentially, or get a whole large group of people. This is a thing people do, is a whole large group of people pulls their money together to become a basically a sort of sub-committee uh, for this company where this group owns a good chunk of their stock and they can't be ignored with them because there's these people with 30 something percent of the stock at least and they start doing things and inputting ideas this has to be acted on their shareholders so what this gets down to is changing the system from the inside getting in the system and making it what you think it should be instead of what it is and this is a very opposite approach to boycotting which is why I wanted to do a follow-up video bringing this idea up because you don't just have the option of saying I will participate or I won't participate. You have the option of saying, I will participate to a goal, to an end. I will be a part of this for a specific reason. You can buy into it if you're one of those people who have the money with the express objective of changing the corporate ideology. Let's say again with this Chick-fil-A example, there's that whole, they, you know, their president doesn't like the whole gay marriage thing. Well, you could become a shareholder, right? You and a bunch of people get together a lot of money, if you have that kind of money, become shareholders and chunk that president out the window. Not literally, obviously, but fire them. Because 51% shareholders, they move to have the guy fired, it goes to vote, it's done, they're fired. That's how it works. The corporation is the will of the people that own the largest numbers of the stocks in the corporation. Whatever those people's will is, if their will is to be sociopathic, profit-gaining monsters as a group, that's what the corporation will do. If the corporation decides that they wish to be a more positive influence, the people running it decide they want to do something other than just generate money, then that is what the corporation will do. A corporation is not a magic machine. It's not this monster that grows out of nowhere and just devours money and freedom. It, it's a thing built by people, made by people, and run by people. And that means people can change it. I really don't have the funds, financing, or ability to do that, so I boycott. But others could have this ability, and others could make a corporation different. So what this really says is that corporations aren't automatically an evil thing. They are simply a product of the people that make them and buy into them. And unfortunately, so many people that do these things are profit-driven themselves, and they do have the ability to look aside from the consequences of their own profit-driving actions. But not everyone does. And those who do have conscience and a lot of money have the option of changing these things from the inside by simply buying their way in. And I'm not going to say which method is better, because I don't know. Perhaps, you know, well, a major boycott can make a company fall or change. But so can people going in from the inside, becoming the president or one of the major shareholders or the biggest shareholder and just then by fiat declaring things are different now. They can do this. And this is another method which should be at least thought about. Perhaps most of my viewers here can't do that, and that's fine. But this is something to at least be thought about and bandied about. The idea should be discussed that corporations aren't just these things that exist and we have to deal with them. No, they're products of people and they can be changed by people even long after they've been founded. Let us not confuse the mythos here of what a corporation is. Let us always just remember what they actually are. 
Whether or not that helps us in the short term is irrelevant. This is an idea that is foundational to our free market system. And if we can't grasp this power that we all have, whether it's individually you have it or not is unimportant. We as a people have that power. And if we can't remember that and use it, well then, we just discarded a weapon for change. Positive change. Why, why would we do that? So let's keep in mind that corporations are exactly what they are, nothing else. They are people productions, made by people, for people, to benefit people. And if you are one of those people, it works the way you say it does. Yes, I'm simplifying things quite a bit. I don't feel like going into the details of all of that stock stuff. But the core idea is true, and it stands. If enough people in a corporation have enough clout to make it change, it will change. Just something to think about.